Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of software testing for one more lecture on the software testing concepts. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the static testing techniques. That is what are static testing techniques and why we need to perform the static testing. So before moving further, I would like to request all of you, if you are new to this channel and not yet subscribe our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel, which will help you gain complete knowledge on the software testing concepts and also will encourage us to upload such more lectures. So please do subscribe. So let's start with this lecture. So first of all, let's understand why we need to perform the static testing. So there are some points. The first one is to improve the development productivity. So we can use the static testing to improve the development productivity. The second point is find out the early defects. So as the static testing is performed before the code execution, we can find the defects in the earliest stages of the development cycle and easily fix them before the code gets deployed. So this is the most important point uh, because of which we need to perform the static testing to find out the early defects. Because if we are going to miss any defects in the early phase that is going to occur in the testing phase. So testing phase or the production phase that may occur in anywhere. So it is better to find the early defects so that the defect cost will be less. So this is the most important point. The next one is reduce the development and testing cost. So the uses of static testing will decrease the testing cost, the development time scales and the timing. So again, this is the it is helps reduce the project timeline. So this is the one more important. So if you are performing static testing techniques, we will definitely going to find the early defects in the development cycle, which will cause the cause that is to reduce the development and the testing cost. So which will lead to the reducing the testing and development cost. And also if you are saving the defects in the early phases, then definitely it helps to reduce the project timeline because if you are finding the defects at the later stage, then again, it is hampering the timing for the project. So these are the four reasons we can perform the static testing. So let's move on to the next part. That is the types of static testing techniques. So there are three types of static testing techniques. The first one is review. First one is review. The second one is walkthrough. And the next one is inspection. So these are the three types of static testing techniques. So let's see one by one. So let's understand the review first. So the review is basically conducted on the documents to ensure its correctness and completeness. So there will be several reviews done uh, such as requirement review, design review, code review, test plan review or the test case review. So there are a lot of reviews happens in the static testing techniques, not technique in the static testing part. That is the verification part. We go through some reviews such as requirement review, design review, code review, and a lot of reviews will be there. Tester will perform the test plan reviews, uh, test cases reviews will be there. And so this is the review basically. So let's move on to the walkthrough. So walkthrough is one kind of informal review. This is the informal review. So in the walkthrough, there will be an author and there will be a peers. So author reads the documents. So there will be some documents. So let's say uh, the documents which we are performing the review. So this is the document here and author will read all these documents. And there will be uh, in presence of peers as well and discuss with the peers. So here the peers involvement also will be there. And it's not a pre-planned review because it's a informal review. It's 
not pre-planned and no means of meeting return for this walkthrough. So it is not pre-planned and can be done whenever it is required. So also walkthrough does not have the minutes of meeting. So these are few points on the walkthrough. Walkthrough is a kind of informal review. Author reads the document and documents are code you can say and design and discuss with the peers. So this, this kind of review is an informal review and it is not a pre-planned and can be happen whenever it is required and no minutes of meeting is uh, prepared for the walkthrough. So this is the second uh, static testing techniques. Let's move on to the next one that is the inspection. So inspection is basically most formal review. So you can see uh, it is the most formal review and very well planned review. So uh, the earlier one which was walked through, it was not a plan that is a pre plan. It was it was done whenever it was required and it was an informal review. But the inspection is the most formal review and very well planned or a pre plan you can say. So uh, in inspection, uh, there will be uh, three to eight people sit together in the meeting. So there will be a reader, one reader, uh, one writer and approximately uh, three, four moderators will be there. So what happens uh, first is the reader, let's say reader who reads the document. So whatever the documents are there uh, under review that will be read by the uh, reader. Then the next one is the writer. So writer writes the key points, writes the key points and clarifications discussed during that inspection. So this is the role of writer. And the third one is moderator. So here if, if you see one is a reader, reader, two is a writer, uh, again one is a writer and then three to four. It varies but uh, approximately three to four you can consider those are as a moderator who moderate the meeting and write the minutes of meeting. So he will write the MOM, the so minutes of meeting. So reader will read the document. Uh, the document which is under review or the ins inspection and the writer will write the points and clarification discussed during the meeting and moderator who will moderate the meetings and write the minutes of meetings. The inspection will have the proper schedule uh, which will be intimated via email to the concerned developer or tester. So as we have considered the inspection is the most formal review and very well planned there will be a reader, writer, moderator in this review. Reader will read the document, uh, which the document which is under uh, review and then writer will write the key points uh, and clarification discussed during the inspection and moderator will moderate the meeting and write the minutes of meeting. And inspection will have the proper schedule which is intimated via email to the concerned developer or tester. And once the inspection is completed, this MOM will be sent to the technical team. The complete team, the MOM will be sent as a MOM. So first we have covered the review. Review is conducted on the documents to ensure the correctness and completeness. For example, the requirement review or the code reviews. Then the second one is the walkthrough. So walkthrough is again a informal kind of review and it is not pre-planned and can be happen anywhere, any, 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 any time uh, whenever there is a requirement and there will be no minutes of meeting are uh, taken care uh, in case of, are taken in, in case of walkthrough and in this the, uh, the author will be there and author will re read the document and discuss with the peers. So this kind of review is a walkthrough. The next is the inspection. It is the most formal review and the well, very well planned review. So there will be a reader, a writer and three to four moderators in this review. So reader will read the document, the document which is under inspection. The writer will write the key points and the clarification discussed during the inspection. Moderator who moderate the meetings and write the minutes of meeting. So once this meeting is completed, the MOM will be sent out to the technical team. 
the inspection have the proper schedule which is intimated via email to the concerned developer or tester so this is the inspection so these are the three types of static testing techniques so that's it for this lecture so thanks for watching this video hope you have liked this please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos which will help us encourage to upload more and more lectures on this youtube channel and also click on the bell icon to get the latest updates on our youtube channel so in the upcoming lecture we will dig further into the software testing concepts so thanks for watching this video stay tuned